All right, YouTube, so here we go. Water's down a bit. It's late summer here on the bay, and water tends to go down, so uh, get this boat out a little farther than I normally throw it to make sure I don't hit anything. All right, there we go. So again, RC batteries. Um, 65C pack in this. I'm gonna go up and get on the dock and get set here. And again, we're just gonna kind of do. I always used to use these batteries for just about all my boat running because, I mean, they're they're a good uh, for what they are. They're a good price, but kind of want to show you how the what the difference is if there is a much difference using a smart pack battery. So we'll do that run next. Again, with the conditions to this uh, today, this is the only boat that I'd run in this. We actually had a small craft advisory out on the bay earlier today. Um, without playing in the jet ski and the waves is kind of fun, but. Uh, Calm down enough here, we can try and do a run. We get it set up with the way the wind's blowing here. We'll do a straight run in. See what kind of go juice we have here, how fast it goes. Oof, good flip. Still kind of rough out there. Luckily, we have a south wind today, so this part is protected, but we still get residuals coming in here. Hopefully, my battery didn't get loose and it doesn't flip. I think it's going to flip. goes took a bit try that run again wind picked up here a little bit so quicker than the last time. Again, of course, uh, any other type of boat that's not self-riding, I'm done playing in the water today, so I wouldn't want to go out there and have to get it. Uh, that's what's nice about this one. There it goes. All right. We'll try one more run here. Yeah, for any bigger body of water, this is really the boat to have uh, if you don't want to get into the water. It just, it handles the chop real well. It's fast. It's probably almost as fast as my blackjack. Of course, that's on an 8S with the blackjack, but I would like to do a speed test on that sometime, but I don't have a GPS unit to stick in that. Um, 
kind of open to some suggestions as to what might be uh, what's a good inexpensive uh, GPS meter speed meter for testing speeds and I could do some speed runs here when we got calmer weather By one more time. Old crawl right there. Cruise is real nice, but this boat's not built for Sunday cruising. Pretty good red time too on this. Uh, no telemetry on this boat though. It's the older version, not the current. Uh, I do also want to show, I don't know if I've shown this before, but it does have reverse. And unlike the blackjack, it works very well. You can turn this thing right around, get it out of trouble. Blackjack, the reverse is kind of limited on it, but this one works well, so it makes it a very good all-around boat. Of course, the rooster tail is kind of cool, too. All right, it's starting to lose a little bit of juice here, so I think we're going to bring it in. We'll bring it around one more time the other way. And then I'll set this up for the smart pack, and we'll see if it looks any different. All right, YouTube, and of course, I just want to always mention that, uh, you know, when you see these videos, if you like them, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell, let, let YouTube know that this is the type of content that you want and what you want to see on YouTube, uh, and as always, uh, I appreciate the support, so uh, thanks again for watching, Mark with Ultimate RC, we'll have the second run here with the smart batteries in a moment. Hey YouTube, I wanted to show you real quick how I had these batteries set up. I tried a different placement today. Um, I think they stayed in place better, but I think it also affected the roll rate in regards to once it rolls over or tips over, um, how long does it take to roll back? So I had these in here vertical instead. Uh, generally stayed in place. This one slid a little. Um, Normally I stack these. A little harder to do, but you can do that and get it to stay in place. Um, so I just wanted to show that. I may try the same thing with the smart batteries and see what we have. All right, YouTube, so here's what I was running. They're actually still a little warm. Um, 5,000 RC battery, uh, Liperior uh, 65C. And we're gonna be running the uh, smart pack now um, so 3s on both of these 50c versus 65 theoretically this one should perform better right um, from what I've seen on my blackjack boat that's not the case but let me get the uh, smart batteries in and uh, we'll do that run YouTube so I just wanted to show you on this next run I've got the batteries back to the way I normally set them which I stack them on top of each other and uh, let's take a look at um, let's see if we see a difference in uh, roll rate as well um, once it tips over. Um, I'm thinking that this is probably better set up than um, laying them horizontally next to each other. So we'll get this buttoned up and uh, ready to go here. So we're going to do the second run. All set. Got the smart batteries in there and plugged up. Ready to go. 
So we'll see if we get a little bit better performance. And again, what is the roll rate like with the way I've got the battery set? And uh, I think it's going to work better this way. So there we go. Sun came out a little bit from behind the clouds. So hopefully we get a little bit better vids. As always, got the part timer here today behind the lens. Oh. All right, let's see how quickly she. That was an interesting uh, flip. It almost uh, did a 360 spin. And yeah, see how much quicker that came up? Um, I think that's the best way to do the batteries on this so that you get a better uh, recovery time on it. That was full throttle on a smart pack. Again, I don't have a speed meter in here to really tell the difference, but it does. I think it's moving a little bit better. Oof. Oh, came upright. That works. Um, so I know these these smart packs are not cheap, and again, that's why I would always use RC batteries because you can probably get two for the price of one. Um, kind of get what you pay for though so I guess it depends upon what you're going for you know on this boat you don't have the added benefit of getting telemetry because you have a smart pack on like the blackjack which is kind of why I went and got them in the first place otherwise I probably would have never got them for this boat but since I have them thought I'd try running it with them and see what the difference is This boat is just, it's a lot of fun. And you do all sorts of stuff like that. And it handles it. It's, with the batteries the way I have it set, I think the balance is a little bit better. It seems to be staying upright more despite the fact what, I've flipped it now three times. Or we can just get on the back. <laughs> Let's see how quickly it comes up. Yeah, still quicker. So I think that up to you how you want to set your batteries up. I think they might stay in place a little bit better the other way. We can take a look at it once it's in and see if those batteries are still where I set them. Um, up to you, but again, I would stack them. I think that's best for this boat. As much fun as the blackjack is, this is probably still my go-to boat because in conditions like this, I can do that and I can stand right here and wait for it to flip over. And my dog doesn't even have to go get it. Okay, once again, great speed with this. maybe get a little bit better runtime with the smart pack again subjective opinion I don't have a timer never time these I just feel like I'm getting a slightly longer runtime not that I got a bad runtime with the RC batteries it was a good runtime but I just feel like I'm gonna be able to go a little bit longer here See if I can do that one more time. Not quite. 
Again, highly recommend this boat, especially if you're on a larger body of water uh, that you can't get calm conditions all the time. A lot, of the, a lot of guys will run like on retaining ponds and things like that, which is great. So you have to go in one of those ponds to go get it. I, I never trust what's in there. Of course, other people would say, well, what the heck's at the bottom of the Bay of Green Bay? Good question. <laughs> Whoops! I don't know why it did turn. <laughs> Part timers upset at me. <laughs> Under the dock we went. <laughs> All right, so with that, we're gonna bring it in because I probably lost my camera person for the evening. Stuck in the weeds. Let's see if I, I should be able to get it out of this. <laughs> Whoops! I don't know why it didn't turn. <laughs> Part timers upset at me. <laughs> Under the dock we went. I really do feel like I lost turn authority here. I'm not really sure what's going on. YouTube, so I did a reboot here. Um, no, I turned off the power. Um, just to see if it was something as simple as that that caused my uh, rudder to go. Um, <gasps> I have throttle in both directions, but I have absolutely no response from the servo. Um, looked at these connections here, they seem to be fine. Um, nothing's loose. Everything's in. So, not sure what the case is. I may uh, call Horizon. Uh, come Monday and see if I can get some information. Well, this looks like a pretty beefy servo and to have that thing just completely stop working all of a sudden I find odd. I mean it, it, there's no power going to it whatsoever. So um, man winds also picking up like it can here. Uh, we got a southeast breeze so we're gonna pick things up uh, last run of the day here especially given this. Uh, once again, the, thanks so much for watching Mark with Ultimate RC. Like and subscribe.